and welcome back to Taz Wells 12. Here again you are on my YouTube channel with me Tara Wells the host of this channel. Today is going to be another quite a big haul from quite a few places. Where we have got is Poundland, Wilco's, Superdrug and Primark. Oh and TK Maxx quite a big brand haul one today I will go through all of them I've got a few clothing pieces so I'll talk about them too get on into the video and then you can see the products as we go along so if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel which is Taz Wells 12 hit the notification bell and once you have subscribed and hit the notification bell you will then be notified of when a new video has come up and you can see it straight off the back of when I've uploaded it first so definitely do all that if you like any of the products if you like the video if you like my advice in general then please do give the video a like because it helps me out it helps me know what you like and what we can go forward I will be doing a lot more of these hauls but then it tells me which bits you want to see and which brands you want to see where I'm buying them so that all helps me out give it a like and also check out my other social medias I've got TikTok I have got um, Instagram Instagram I use a lot more than TikTok but they're both under Taswell's 12 so definitely check them both that would be great. I think any more ado, let's get on into the video and we can see all the brands. The first brand that we're going to start with is Superdrug. Superdrug, I only got one item out of there. It wasn't not a lot of makeup I wanted or anything like that, so I wasn't looking for that. But it's a bit strange item that I did get. But I saw on Facebook a good video about eyebrow dyeing and normally when I dye my hair I will normally put a bit of hair dye when I'm doing my hair onto my eyebrows and it just makes them a little bit darker I've done it recently because I've dyed my hair about maybe a week ago now I've just done that so that will keep for probably about next weekend or maybe the weekend after but what I saw on Facebook was this I think she was a beauty guru I can't remember her name I saved the video because I really really liked it and it was so good well I wanted to dye my eyebrows and normally I would get my stuff from Sally's but it was coming to about £12 with all the developer the color the little bowl like everything else so a little bit expensive and I normally love Sally's products but when we've kind of been in this coronavirus i've kind of used some different other products that are a lot cheaper and are quite good for their money i then left it for ages saw this video and she actually used yeah i'm not kidding you she actually used men's beard dye which i thought was quite clever because in a normal hair dye if you've ever used a box one you just get the normal developer and then the color in a tube I only do them um, when I'm literally quickly doing my hair otherwise I'm going to be using a whole tube of color for my eyebrows which is not great she actually used this and this is really clever because this is what the box looks like comes with a little brush but I probably won't use that so this is in dark brown to black which is pretty much right because little chart here on the side it, this is the before and this is the after so that would be great to fit my hair that I've dyed it in this little box get instructions but it's going to just be like hair dye I might have a quick read over it before how much you've got to mix up then you get some gloves in there I don't think I need to use the gloves because it's literally there is something else I will use in this haul but I'll explain later but not what I'm going to use it with you get a little brush that it comes with but I don't think I use this but I will definitely keep it come handy in something else soft actually dense but soft you get a little palette which is quite good it's just a little plastic thing but it's really good that that comes in it because normally you have to be separate and one you get the color base so this is the color base and then two is the it's really hard to see color developer so you just literally mix a bit of these two together and then you can use it 
on a beer for a man but i like it because it comes in these little tubes so you can basically put in this little palette as much as you want and still have these tubes and these can last you for quite a little bit of time and they've got 14 g in each so it's quite a lot 3m so that's quite a lot of product for each i think this is good i'm going to try it out i think this was about this about seven pound 39 which is a lot more cheaper than a sally's i don't know if you get more product but these look exactly the same tubes that you've got on sally's also i looked in the women's for the eyebrow dye and kits that they do and they were sort of coming out the same that amount of money to get more expensive which i didn't really get because it's the same products so if this works and normally i have seen that someone did use it because there's a dark brown but they said it comes like a sort of ready shade like a warm brown and then you've got a black which is more of an ashier so if i got it in the women's i probably would have to get the black because my hair is dark it's not got any red in it it's quite warm but it's definitely like darker and it just wouldn't suit and it just wouldn't look nice so that i might try it all out on a video for the first time with you guys and i may do my mum's on camera as well so you can see it on both two lots of eyebrows and it will be all really good but that may be coming i'm just not sure if i'm gonna do it or not i may do just depends if it goes a disaster or not that's the first thought so that was the only thing i got from super Truck. next place we are going to go is tk max so TK Maxx, I basically got two items in there really, really cheap. I checked them both because they were both in a sealed in a bag. I'll show you in a minute. And yes, one had been used. You'll see it in a moment. But I think we can get around this. If I clean the package or clean the product, I think we're going to be fine. And the other one wasn't used, so this is good. I got some makeup and they were in these little packets they obviously were sealed at the top i've had to cut them i've just kept them to show you and the actual price i paid for them i actually got a foundation in there it's nutmeg this was the lightest shade they have this is quite dark but i've got some drops i can put with it so i'm not mad at this i've never ever tried this and then i realized that this is a long wear liquid foundation and it's actually from Topshop. But this was really good i thought why not try it out it's very very good and then when i opened the packet i could see the box had been opened so we'll get that to that in a minute i had bought this i didn't realize it would have been used that was my bad when i got home but like i said we can clean it up i'll show you in a minute but i actually paid only 60p for this foundation and this foundation probably was about five or six quid maybe even a bit more so i only paid literally 60p which i thought was really good for a foundation and then inside it did have 90p there's two other labels underneath i wanted to do this all on camera with you because i wanted to show you but i don't know we're gonna get this this looks like it went to three pounds something it's gone from Let's see what the final one says underneath. That's the one we want to really know. So the original price, I don't know if you can see this, here it is. It was $3.99, okay? Then it went from maybe $3.99 to $3.50 because it got used. So then it probably then went from $3.50 to $90p. No one's still buying it because these are quite dark shades and then it went from 90p to 60p and i thought 60p for a foundation didn't realize it was top shop until i got to the till but still i think it's really good like i said it's in the color nutmeg so that's basically what it looks like when i got it out of packet it was obviously open so i can chuck that away um and this is what it looks like so it looks pretty good but what my sort of giveaways it was for it the box had been open there's um fingerprint marks here and on the side and then it'd been all splat so i don't know if it leaked or someone has actually used it but the thing is though you could see that shade and you know what if you lighten that that would not be too bad for my skin it would be all right it looks a bit dark now but if you put some lightning drops in that that's fine so i don't know if this has just had a leak 
so that's not fine i don't know if someone squirted it but what we could do is just get a makeup wipe we can clean inside here clean this and this will be fine and i've basically got a full bottle here this is glass by the way um so this is all good and it looks very nice actually top shot foundations very nice got the logo here but I thought that was not too bad for like 60p. What can you go wrong for a 60p foundation? I can line that very much easily. So I am quite impressed with that. The next item I got was another makeup one. And this was also from Topshop. So I only paid a pound for this. So that's really good pricing. It was then originally two pound. And then we'll clip this up. And the original price was $3.99, then it went to £2, and then it went to a pound. And this actually hasn't been used. This is a lipstick. This is Dairy. And it's a matte lipstick, which I quite like. So, and it's sort of a brown colour. I've never bought brown. I think I've bought one out of the pound shop. Um, but this is pretty much the same. So I'll probably check this. It's very bougie. And then it had glitter all over this. So I thought, oh my god. Please do not say this has been used. Please, please, please. So I popped it open, popped it up, and it hasn't. So I was very, very lucky with this because if it's been used, you would have to then clean this off with a wipe because you do not want anything going on in the moment. So what we're going to do is just swatch this because this looks really intriguing. Just a very, very dark brown there. Do you know what? I think this would be really nice to put like a really nice dark lip liner on. And it smells really, really sweet. The dark lip liner on, that on, I think it'll look nice. I think it'll look, and you pat it in, very, very nice. But I will do probably a little video with both of these because I got them at the same time. And I think it would be good to do a video at the same time with them. So that was all great. Next place we are going on to is Wilco's. In Wilkinson's, I got my thing I was looking for ages. I've looked in two stores for these and they are absolutely great. I've raved about them when I've done my makeup videos a lot of the time. And I really, really like these. So I've raved about them all the time. So the Essence Eye Heart Color Intensify Eyeshadow Base. And basically, they are just eyeshadow bases in a little tube. And I'm just checking if it hadn't been used. Should have done that on both of them. Which I don't think they have. That's good. I got these ages and ages ago. And I absolutely love it. It's so good. It's the cheapest thing ever. These are about £2.50 each. And you get in there 4ml. But this lasts a lot because I use it with Poundland concealer stick. Uh, and it's really good. So I put the concealer stick on. If you've not seen any of my makeup videos, definitely check all of them out. Because there is loads on this channel. I use a concealer stick first. Just put that over. Then I put some of this over because this is very liquidy and creamy. And then I get a concealer brush. But a, like a really fluffy one and buff it all into my eye and up here and maybe a bit down below here and this is the perfect thing so I had to then pick up two because I have not seen these for ages the only thing that was a problem was that the fact that they are the lighter one but in my case it doesn't bother me my skin is not dark dark so this is all right but there when they first came out they came out with like a more sort of beigey browny one and then they come up with this light one but all I could see was the light one so I'm not going to complain because these were 2 50 each so I've paid £5 for both of these and these will last me a long long time and they're really good I use them all the time the only other thing I got in Wilco's to go with that was my hair dye that I got out of Poundland normally it's for the same price these are the Swosskov Polycolor Permanent Cream Colour Tint I got 43 which is a dark brown and then I also in the same range got 41 which is medium brown I mix these two for my hair color this is lasted this is already a week it looks fresh it looks dark you can see where the dark places are and it comes out a really 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 nice color so really like these and they are two pounds each 
same as Poundland. Can't really go wrong for a good hair dye in a box. Normally I don't go for hair dyes in a box, I normally go for Sally's. But these, since coronavirus, have been really good and I'm going to keep at these because I really like them. Really good money, really good quality. Well, this will last me about four weeks and that's really good for colour and it probably will last me a little bit longer. So, really, really like these. The next place is going to be Primark. So, I went out with my dad and my boyfriend Neil and we went out to Bournemouth. This is where most of this stuff has come from for the day. I was going to vlog the day, but then I kind of was enjoying it a little bit too much. I know I've said that I will try and vlog these places for you, but it's very, very hard when you're trying out with your family for ages and you, the best weather is coming out. You want to kind of enjoy the moment. I am going to be starting to be really, really good with this and get my acting gear and get filming is generally my problem why this is not happening so sorry guys but it i didn't vlog any of it i didn't even take some pictures i was just enjoying the moment for the whole day and it was lovely but we went into bournemouth town center and we went to a little outlet where is where we are gonna find the poundland was we went quite a few places, really good, but sorry, yeah, didn't take anything. So we'll get on to the Primark stuff now. Primark, I actually got another jumper. I got about four of these jumpers, and one is from the men's, the white one that I did show you in a haul. But they actually had down there one in this dark brown. And I love this dark brown, and I think it's such nice, this chocolate brown. I think it really compliments me and my skin tone. Really, really love it. Yes, it looks a bit of a shade colour, but I actually like this. I think it's a new colour that is going to be in, and it's very practical, very, very nice. And at the moment, in lockdown, where I am working from home, this is my only what I am wearing. So I thought I would get another one because I do love these jumpers so much. In Primark, I got this one in a two extra small. I could go an extra small and I can go small, but a small is a little bit too big. I like it a little bit cropped and not on completely like long, long, long. This was really, really good. I really like these. So this is two extra small. And a two extra small is a four to six. Normally I would not in tight clothing get in, in a four to six. There's no way in hell. Fortunately, no. Normally getting in a six. Depending if it's a bit baggy, I'll get in a 6 or an 8 or a 10, depending what the size and what the fit is. And then I only paid £5 for these. These are really good jumpers. For £5, you can just shower them on with a jogging bottom or a pair of jeans. Um, really, really nice. These are going to be used a lot in the winter as well. So they've got a really soft inside. This obviously goes a bit bubbly when you wore it, but these are the most comfortable jumpers ever so i will put a clip in that so you can see it very quickly this is the brown jumpers i love these brown jumpers so this is actually in a 2xs these are normally quite big for me so that's why i go really really down on them i either get extra small or 2xs and they fit nice they cut, they're still baggy on me um but i like them a little bit shorter which is good otherwise if i get them bigger bigger they're too long and I don't like it. But yeah, you can see, obviously the seamless is all sitting on my arms probably. And the funny thing is though, didn't I say in a haul ages ago, I really would want one in a dark brown? Now, Primark, did you listen to me or did you see my haul or something? Because I definitely said this and they did not have any until I just found this one. Maybe it was a call from the gods or somewhere like that, but I'm happy. I got my dark brown jumper. Also got in Primark was some more joggers. These actually, Bournemouth one had some more colours. They had quite a few colours. I saw a navy. Navy could have been nice, but I was like, mm, that's, I'm a little bit off with navy. I either like black or like creams or like grey. I've got, I've got about four pairs of joggers from 
Primark and they're really, really good money. They're five pounds each. So really, really good for the money. And they had a dark gray pair. I thought a dark gray pair would go with quite a lot of things. So that was really, really good. Like I said, they are, so these are the regular fit ones and they're five pounds. So they have slim fit ones I've got as well. And these are the regular fit. So I got these in a small, which I think I've got a black pair already in these. So that's really good. Five pounds. I also got it in a small, which is actually a 10 to 12. They had all these little uh, tie bits done up. So I actually undone it so I could see how much stretch there was. Because I wasn't sure of a small or medium. But once I undone that, it's got quite a bit of stretch. And once it's on my body, it could be really good. And they're really, really nice. And I thought the grey, the dark grey is really, really good. So I'll put a clip in of these ones now too. These are the grey joggers that you can see. I got another pair of these because I really, really like these joggers at the moment from Primark. They're really smooth go really well just be careful because i've had a couple of pairs that go a little bit bubbly but i've been using this little device my mum actually got for me from home bargains so it takes the bubbly you know when the clothes go like a little bit bubbly well if you use this it's got loads of fluff in it at the moment you can see where i used it last time i need to empty it but it's really really good i don't know how much she paid for it because she obviously got it for me for christmas but i've seen they're still in there basically you just turn it on and then it'll make this noise, it doesn't cut you anything. But there must be like little cutters in here. Go over the fabric like that. And it'll just cut the little bubbly bits of material off and it takes it down. So just do that every time. Some of these do that, but not all. But these are really soft. They've got lots of room. So these are 10 to 12 by the way. They've got a drawstring so you can draw them up like that. Why well, I wanted the dark grey pair was also I like to go out on my black pair sometimes and just wear like a little vesty top like this and a cardigan and then do them up and then just go out to the shops so I've got pockets out to shop and just put these on very quickly trainers really really nice but yeah this is what they look like 10 to 12 dark grey ones glad I found these as I was talking earlier about the beard dye, I actually got something that you can use because she said you could use an eyebrow pencil and I thought, oh my god, it's really genius, but I haven't got, the two I've got, literally, I use all the time. So one I use for pomade and one I use for powder, don't really stay up putting dye on them. Luckily, I, because I went to Bournemouth the day before and got that dye the day after, I actually picked up an eyebrow pencil from Primark which I thought was really good. So it's got like a little spoolie down here. It's just in this pink sort of color. And then it's got a little eyebrow brush here. And this is for suitable for vegan. P.S. Um, eyes brow brush used to define your brows. And this was only a pound. So I thought, you know what? I was gonna get one of these out of the pound shop, but I couldn't find any. Because they had exactly the thing I wanted for the same price, can go wrong i was going to pick two of these up but i thought no nah, just pick one up if it goes wrong and then i make another trip to primark i will pick another one up because i will be using this a lot for dyes because i think she said this was the best thing just to precise it out and you can feather it in and you also do it down like give it the cut that you want so great stuff and I picked a different mascara up because I didn't have the false lash queen one in there. I was going to pick one another one up even though I've got plenty. But I was going to pick another one up because I thought, do you know what? I love that mascara so, so much. I literally use it and treat it dead. I was pretty gutted that it didn't have any. But then I saw this one. Show you packaging. This is the Billion Dollar Lashes. Instant volume and curled lashes. It's a 16 plus hour wear. It is high impact volume and curl. 100% said it gives instant volume. So then it shows a before and an after. Dual side rubber brush to plump and volumize lashes. So I had a quick look at this because I was quite intrigued what this looked like. And by the way, it's three pounds. So it's pretty much the same as the other mascara they're pretty good for their mascaras and it's cruelty free which you really want to know because it saved 
the little animals. So this is what it comes in. Very, very massive tube, very thick tube. So I don't know if they're trying to make them smaller, but thicker. I don't know, because my other one's quite long. The foal slash queen one, really good mascara. So I'll just open this up. And it's a totally different brush. Can you see? It's a very curled brush. So obviously you wouldn't be using this side, but this side, I don't know, actually, you could use that side. I might try this out as well on the video. On this side, I think it's going to give great volume out of, out of the bottom. So this will be more a volume one, unless it does give the lashes a good lift. This will mostly be at the bottom, giving it a good volume. And then the other one will be like to separate the lashes. We can try them together or I could try this. Actually, what I might do is a video and I'll try this on completely one eye and then try both on the one eye and we can then compare which we think is good or to be honest two mascaras for six pound or one mascara for three pound it's not going to rip your bank and it's really really good great last thing i got out there out of primark was that i actually watched another youtuber and i thought this was absolutely a great idea so i actually watch her all the time her name is Gemma. I will try and find out if I can find it. Gemma Louise Miles. I think she's called Gemma Louise Miles. So look out for something like that. Blonde girl, really pretty and also really, really good. Love watching her videos. Watch them all the time. Yeah, just great. Can you check her out? But she said on there that there was a press foundation in... Primark and it was great and all she does is use it for bronzing on her face too but she also uses it for eyeshadow in her crease and just wears that and then put a bit of mascara on which I think was such a clever idea because sometimes you just want that sort of thing to put on your face and just go out the door really really easy. So I actually had to find the colour that she normally uses so this is what it looks like. I opened these up, by the way, because I'm very curious to see what they look like. Need to check they weren't smashed as well. This. This is in Cinnamon 13, which she uses. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Foundation Pressed Powder. It is a buildable coverage matte finish. And it's only £2. So you can't go wrong for this. And these are quite big patterns. So I'll try and open these up because they're not the easiest of things. Basically, it comes with this little round pad thing, which is really, really soft, but I'm not going to use it, so this is going to go bye-bye. And then in the pan, you get a mirror, which is good, because it's a little round mirror, you can take it out. And then in the actual product, this is all got a coating on it. I don't know how I'm going to get the coating off, but because they both got them on there. This is colour, so this is quite a nice brownie colour i thought it might be a bit dark but i thought you know what try it for two pound what what's going to go wrong at the end of the day if i only do generally use this as eyeshadow i cannot go wrong I could have this and then another eyeshadow and that could be my me done for the whole week like do you know what I mean not, not that it would be but this would be quite interesting so it's kind of a more sort of sun-kissed brown i think which is really really nice so i was got that and then I couldn't find the cinnamon one at first and I was like, oh, I'll just have a look at some others. So then I actually got the same thing. So this is £2. And this is actually in the colour Toffee 10. So I'll show you because I decided to put the thing over the top. 10 Toffee. So I thought I'll pick this one up first. Just grab it anyway. It's £2. I'm not being funny, but that for £2 is amazing. And I think this would be so handy. So it comes with a little pad too. This was broken at one point, so I was like, no. And this is what toffee looks like. So toffee is a bit more of a sort of lighter shade than the other one. But I still think this would be really good for the crease. I love putting this in a crease because it just makes your crease a little bit warm. Give a little bit of warmth on, you, on your eyes and then you can just put a nice shimmer shadow over the top which is natural and that would be today for the day or you could just put this on but they were the last two items and i was really happy that i got the one that she had and a different color we'll see what they're like
the last place is going to be Poundland. In Poundland, I got quite a few things. I will start with the stuff I got in Bournemouth and then I actually went to Poundland the next day and got some more bits. Yes, different Poundlands have different things because I tried to find some of the things that I've got in the other day to the first time in Bournemouth Poundland, but they just didn't have them really, really good. So it is really like hit and miss depending where your Poundland is and depending what your Poundland has generally got. So we will get into what I got from Bournemouth first. In Bournemouth I picked another one of these cables up. I've got one of these before, really really good. I wanted to try it out because these are actually 1.5 meters which it gives you like a bit more of a longer lead like i said i wanted to get one a longer lead because our bed is a lot higher just grabbed another one in case so this is the getting charged up sync and chargeable cable made for iphones and it's 1.5 really really good for a pound they only did white i would have preferred to get black as well but unfortunately they have only got white that i can find but you may find a black one really good cables definitely definitely get them worth the money for a pound. Now I got is something for work which is pretty boring but I got a Bic pen which is four colours. This one's a mini one. They're still really good. They're really good to put in your handbag. And there they have got red, black and blue and green which is really handy. Really use these for work. Just new, use them as a normal pen or if I'm going to tick off something or I haven't done it. So obviously red is I haven't done it or I leave it for the next day or and green is that I've completed it. So this is really handy little pen. I also then got some more pens out of Poundland. These were three for a pound. So you either had the shiny or matte set. So I got the matte set so you get a gold, a silver and a rose gold. I think these are really good. I think they just come out normal colours. But it doesn't matter if they don't, I'm, it's only me that I'm writing at, at the moment. But three pens for a pound, I needed them for work. I don't know what the quality, I don't know how long they're going to last. The deluxe pens, but we'll see when we use them. This is just an item some for our house boxes. I always talk about these house boxes all the time. So me and Neil are obviously looking to move. We're looking for a place at the moment. Nothing is confirmed, we're just looking. But we like to get home bits at the moment, just so when we do move out, we are very ready. I actually got these, because I thought these were quite good for a pound. So the two thimbles and three threaders. So two thimble nail size, so you just put your finger over that just to try it, but still good. And these are made to sew, and they've actually got little holes in the back, so you can actually feel what the the thimble actually feels like not that i use the thimbles as much but it's the threaders that i use if you've got any pieces of clothing i obviously stitch it up with a little katherine kitten flower pin cushion i've had this for years really good pin cushion the only problem is i've got to make sure these are all up because i have lost a few in there because of how deep it is still really good really cute uh, I put all my pins and stuff in there, and my needles, all that sorted. I just wanted these because these are really, really good when you are going to sew something up and thread it through really quickly. Handy little devices, and they're in the pound shop, so great. Boring, I just got some chewing gum, so I just got some extra cool breeze. These are three nine piece packets and they're pound and that's really good for that price because normally you can pay about 60p for one of these. So I always get these in the pound shop. If you ever want some chewing gum, really good price. And they do lots of different flavors. So this is my favorite, like the till green packet. So got some five Kinder Happy Hippos cocoa ones. They were a pound. They're the best thing. I haven't out them all, they're downstairs. They are really tasty, really nice, really good for kids, but I really like them. They're just like a small little hippo size, like a little treat. Very, very tasty, and the normal ones are really good too. Then I just got six pack Smith's savory section, so they actually are really tasty. They're just the tiniest crisp like this. They're like bacon rushes and scampi ones. I both like both flavors, you may not. Unfortunately, that's what you get in the packs. You get three each. Bacon ones are proper like bacon ones. They're not like, they're really, really crispy. They're not like soft like some of them you get. 
beautiful really really nice good for a pound good for like a little snack or a little pack of crisps that you want really quickly if but if you don't like scampi ones then you kind of don't want to buy them because you're kind of wasting three packets unless someone else in your family or your partner does like scampi then i picked these up because i had seen these in a, another poundland haul and i was very intrigued by these so these are the strawberry and mint ones i've never seen these advertised but i love the packaging because it's got like little strawberries on and i love anything with strawberry on and these are de delightful minty dark chocolate thins i don't normally like a after eight in the normal ones i just I don't know, I just don't really like mint that much. But now because they're mixed with a strawberry, I'm tempted. It's just a normal packet, but it's good that they're coming out with different flavours. I don't hate mint, it's just not what I would go for. But strawberry and mint, I think it'd be nice. Be kind of maybe like a cocktail. I don't know, might try them. Might try them even tonight. But yeah, these were £1.50. And I don't think that was too bad for it. You're paying an extra 50p really. So yeah, they're not too bad. They look quite nice onto some makeup bits from the Bournemouth range. I actually grabbed two more of these. These are the Makeup Gallery Slay the Brow and this is a brow gel up to 24 hours. This is in one blonde. This is actually what I like the most. Yes, it's blonde, but it, when it goes on, it's like a very light brown, which is really nice. At the moment, I really like it for my brows don't like it over too much i think when i start tinting them this will be even more perfect because it just gives you that little extra color and put them into place very very easy and you don't have to do much i knit, i have used one of these quite a lot recently so i'm glad i found the blonde ones because there is a brunette one but it is just that little bit too dark so say i don't have time to do my brows before i go on a night out that would be a perfect one i do with these at the moment I've actually done a brow video when I tested these out, but I've improved that a little bit more. What I'm actually using is a pencil. So an eyebrow pencil that's actually from Barry M. And I literally just go round up here and just cut the edges pretty much with the eyebrow pencil. So I've done my foundation. So foundation first and or BB cream or anything that you want to put on your face and then cut around with an eyebrow pencil or pomade if it's that sort of shade range this lighter color and i also then blend that in with my pomade eyebrow brush the slanted one and then i will go over the top of this because this has got color in it as well for the pound the fact that these are pound each they're really really good they're just quick and easy to do brows which i love at the moment because i will spend so much time trying to do brows and actually these are godsend and they're really helpful i just got some products that's not from the makeup gallery range so these are actually brand products that you would normally get in superdrug or anywhere else so i actually got these and they actually come in packets like this i just kept this one to show you so i obviously got one for eye so i've got an eyeshadow and I've got a lipstick to show you and normally they are coming in little packets and they're just a pound each. The first one I'm going to show you the first is this lipstick and this is the Rouge Velvet the lipstick and it's from Bourjois. It's really hard to see but that's yeah, it's like written into it in the same colour. This is the colour and I thought it looked really really nice. It didn't look too pale and this is 15 Peach Tatin. I don't know if I'm saying that correct. I don't know why they put really strange names on it, but it does represent a peach colour, so they've got that right. This is what the colour is at the bottom, very much is the top, which I think is really, really good, clever, like that. And it's thin lipstick, which is really, really nice. And then you just turn it, and it comes like that. And it smells very sweet again, it's more like a sort of baby sort of suntan lotion smell which is not bad like that it's not horrible you can deal with that so we'll swatch this and see what this looks like because i've not tried this one. Oh, it's very very creamy like that so it's quite like a nudie color quite like that can't go wrong for that for a pound just smudged it 
I just cut into it with the lid, which doesn't help. My bad, cut into the lipstick, don't do that. Good job it wasn't expensive. Just this nice peachy colour and it blends out really well, so that's good. So you want a lipstick to kind of do that because when you put it on your lips, you can blot it out if you don't like the colour and then you got a colour that you sort of really want. So that was good. The other little gem I found, which I think I'm going to use quite a lot, is this. Look how pretty that colour is. Do you know what? Someone put this down and I thought, why did they put that down? That's really pretty. I wasn't quite sure if this was a highlighter or it's for your eyes, so I got it out. So this is from Maybelline New York. This is from the Colour Show one. I've got quite a bit of range from that that i've ended up getting from poundland so i don't know what happened with that range maybe not a lot of people liked it, it wasn't selling great maybe they had really loads of stock of it I'm not quite sure this is in 34 lustrous beige really pretty i haven't tried this but it just looks amazing and it looks like something oh my god look at that that just looks so good and i'm gonna swatch this i just swatch this the other day but i was just like I do this on camera oh my god it's like the prettiest really good if do you know what I mean it would this color would go really well with them to press foundations as eyeshadows and just using this because this is the color it comes out with like this nice sheen thing if you made that wet on your eye like the cut crease that would be even nicer you can see how that's shining and it's just like beautiful and i i was so glad i got this can't go wrong with that on to the other stuff i got from other permanent now the first thing i got was some post-it notes these are for work they can be from home but i thought you can't go wrong so these are don't forget sticky notes 360 sheets they're just in luminous color of yellow pink orange which yeah that's an orange and green and there's quite a lot there so i was i use this quite a lot for work just to write quickly little notes down numbers anything like that i want to keep something information wise very very good so i got some more of these because we're i'm running out because we are working from home unfortunately i've got to buy my own stationery but i'm not fast because i'm not buying absolute loads i've got a couple of books pens now until i run out again or get nearer to the time then that's when i'll buy some more but this will last for ages then i just bought a mask i've just kept myself clean with sanitizer washing my hands when i come back using san sanitizer when you come in and out of shops actually two pounds my mum got some from work but they were the material ones but they didn't sit on my face very nice so I thought I would try this one Poundland. So this is what it looks like. It's just literally the thinnest material, but hey, I hope it's gonna keep you safe. And it's stretchy, which is what I want. I just put it over one ear, put that over the other, and it's like that. So it is still a bit big, but as long as it's gonna cover you and cover your face, and I could breathe in it, and there's like a bit of gap here, which is quite good. I'll just don't like it. It just makes it doesn't make you as a person, it just makes you look really weird. But unfortunately if you want to go in a shop, you've got to have these on. When you come out you can take it off. So I picked up some conditioners. So I picked them off Swath Cough. Dyes are good. Conditioners are up even better and they smell really nice. So this is the Gliss Hair Repair Conditioner. Magnificent strength. Um, this has got serum in it. Um, powerful protein infusion, instant strength, increased resistance, powerless and exhausted hair. So this is just a pink one. So I've actually got the shampoo of this. Really, really good. Can't go wrong for a pound for these. And then this one I haven't actually tried. So this isn't, I don't know if it's new or I've just not seen it. So this helps to repair and prevent damaged hair. So it's a Gliss hair repair. Condition, total repair, it's got serum in and sealer and it's deep repair, suppleness and shine. So this is for dry and damaged hair. Um, I'm not sure what this one smells like. It just smells like flowers. So that's not the nicest one, but do you know what? If it's going to repair my hair and I put it in conditioner, I'm not going to complain. But like I said, these conditioners are really good for a pound. Last whole haul now, so we're on the last bits. You've 
probably seen that I already got one of these. I couldn't resist of not getting another one. So this are just a little grey tin and they have laundry powder on. I actually got the other one from Home Bargain, so I'm really, really happy about that because it's a lot bigger. I said to you that I would probably use these little ones for capsules or any other little bits that you've got. So I actually grabbed another one because I thought, do you know what, if I do not, I will regret it and they're only pound and they're really good to put in the house box. So my mum pointed out this and we've also got a peg bag already. We've got a nice one with little bees on it, but it was quite expensive, about £12. It was from Sophie Allpot. Check her out. She's not on YouTube, I don't think, but she's got a website and the stuff is absolutely so pretty. Love it. Expensive, but nice. Really, really nice. So I won't be using that peg bag and leaving it out on the washing line because if it gets wet and ruined, I'd be so, so disappointed. But in there, they had this. Just got pegs on it. It's just like a, basically like this. Um, just but a little bit bigger and it's got this handle and there's the little clips inside these probably need to get pushed a little bit more because if you put your hand in that and catch that quite painful but I thought do you know what if we overload them with pegs we can just put them in here and then we can just take this out with the peg bag and then we've got double pegs we can't go can't really miss any pegs so I thought that was really nice and it goes with the whole set that I've pretty much got because the one just had a quick break with my little cup this is actually the cup is from Tesco's I love it wish I got another one but it's just like a big teacup and it's got this pattern inside but I just wanted my cup of tea to finish this off and the peg one goes with the one I got from Home Bargains and the other little powder ones or the little capture ones. I was pretty happy with all this because then everything is going to look really, really nice together. And that was the last. To the end of the haul now, I hope that you liked everything that I showed you. I kind of give you a little bit of advice on a couple of things because I think that's kind of better to explain things. The video might be a little bit longer, but then you can know where I got it from. How much it was and any advice that i've given with it too so if you did like it then please give it a thumbs up like i said it really helps me it helps me know what you guys want and we'll see next time i do another video so if you're new watching this video please give us subscribe and hit the notification bell under taswells12 also the same name for instagram and tiktok so definitely check both of them out too but like i said this is the end of the haul unfortunately I will see you next time. I hope that you liked it. This video is not sponsored. I just want to say that very quick. Everything and anyone that I mentioned, it's not sponsored by any of them, not sponsored by any of the brands that I mentioned. Just remember that very quickly. So I haven't said it that much in these videos. I say it once and I think that's about enough. Keep safe. I will see you next time and keep smiling. Bye.